uh, so uh, we need to here we need to create a method so to create an instance of retrofit uh, so retrofit uh, retrofit will be equal to uh, retrofit dot builder Retrofit that uh, user that uh, base so we can just use this URL and we need to pass uh, the we have in our utils so API. So all we need to do is we need to add it so. API credential and then we need to pass the base URL pass the add the converter factory so we can add the JSON converter factory uh, that create and let's just move this one to another line so Okay, so we can now uh, call the build. Okay, but let us just try to uh, look other methods. So let us just call the build. Okay, so now, uh, once we already created the retrofit, we can now uh, retrofit. Uh, we can initialize the interface that we have. So API uh, client it is uh, uh, API client plus retrofit that create and then we need to define the API client class we need to pass it okay so we have now the API client and I'll start uh, make a call so to make a call we need to uh, call with a type so and this will be the uh, search uh, recipes that we have into so okay so we need to pass it so we need to pass it here so it's recipes so it is in the response I need mean, to call this one uh, recipe calls so it's recipe scores and we need to assign the API client so it is an interface and then we, we can uh, the method search recipes and by the uh, value so Okay, so you control click. So we need to we parameterize this constructor. So we need to pass the string value. Oh, and we can do that by uh, using the pay credential uh, that we have defined already. So we can uh, get back and then just use the API credentials so that holds all the uh, parameters or the bug the query so for the query we can just uh, pass the query and we can just uh, pass the API credential so have ID and then the uh, API potential that okay so the API key okay uh, so okay so now once we already done that 
once we already done that we can now uh, uh, create a, a new uh, call box so we can just type search recipe calls dot in queue so you can use this method to create a new call box so with new call box for a space Uh, so uh, after that we can check the response body so we can actually love this one if we want so we can just the first we can just check so if uh, response so response is the uh, is the uh, parameters so in the on response method so you can just check it if response it is successful um, and we can check also if response uh, the body is not equal to null uh, we can put a method here uh, Otherwise, if there is a failure, so we can just uh, we can just lag. We just create a lag here, so lag that. Okay, so lag that uh, that purpose. We can uh, provide. Okay, we can provide the tag actually. Actually, we can provide the tag plus a tag. The message will be on failure. Okay. Because uh, we are going to the tag. And actually, we should put it inside in the on failure. And the uh, throwable. So we need to add uh, the message. So message so we can just okay so uh to message so that to screen okay okay so we have an error so so the message will be so if we are going to okay so we need to actually we need to concatenate to get that message so class D get message okay so in response uh, what we're going to do in response will be so if the response is successful we need to uh, we need to check to the res to the recipes so uh, actually we are now running in 8 minutes so we uh, for each uh, okay for each object okay but first we need to declare an array and we can immediately initialize the uh, recipes so we can uh, Recipes new array uh, array array as this so we can pass the response the body okay that get of recipes so we are just give from the uh, search recipes so and after that we are going to check we are going to check each of the root object model root object model in recipes 
But at one we can uh, we can declare it in a different way. So we can uh, check we can declare an index equals zero. I is less than recipes that size I plus plus. Okay. We can uh, declare root object model recipes. Uh, that get by index and we can add the uh, the object model and root object model uh, for the root object model and we can so if response is successful we need to add the recipes into uh, the root object model into the array then we can initialize the view so recycler view equals uh, find you by id find you by id or dot id dot recycler view and here we can initialize as new uh, recipe Recipe adapter. We pass the entity that is and the recipes. Okay. And we need to set the adapter. Recycle view. Let's set adapter. Uh, to adapter. Okay. But uh, next time in. Yeah, it will not uh, work successfully because uh, we have missed the important thing so that is what we are going to do in the next tutorial guide since we have now a longer video so I'm very sorry I need to uh, cut off the video so uh, thanks for watching this tutorial guys so I hope you enjoy and please be sure to subscribe um, uh, if you have some questions, make box. Um, I hope to see you in the next video. So, thanks for watching.